Back in the old days, when humans were wanderers, hunters, gatherers, food we ate didn't come with labels. It didn't say organic or all natural or sprayed with pride by your local Monsanto poison dealer. It came from that bush near the mountains or from that thing you killed that was trying to kill you. And the hope was that tomorrow you would have enough energy to go hunt and get more food with more success. And the hope also was that Tuk Tuk didn't poop too close to the food bush. His, his drinking is really starting to become a problem for the tribe. Food today isn't about survival, it's about the culinary experience. We talk about what wines need to be paired with that fish we didn't catch, or how much of this cow's blood do we want to ingest with our A1 steak sauce, or how smelly do we want our pee to be after we eat all that asparagus. Everywhere you go, restaurants have these food contests where people eat pounds after pounds of food. And a block away, there's a homeless person with a sign written in Sharpie on a piece of cardboard that says, will work for food. We look at it as a sport, while the homeless and the poor look at food as a monetary system in exchange for labor. Restaurants are playing March Madness with our nutrition while the homeless and the poor are attempting to play the game of life with missing pieces. We have a whole channel dedicated to the experience of food from the way it's made to, to the way it's eaten and judged. That's how much of a luxury food has become to, the, to, to people today, right? The, the, there are people judging something that people have poured their heart and their soul into. They're so passionate about the taste and the aesthetics of food as well as the ability to feed the world. And we just look at that and say, mm, no, it's too dry. Well, fuck you, okay? We, if, if this was the hunter-gatherers days, those judges would have probably been eaten by the rest of the tribe, right? They would have just been like, well, you know, he would have lasted longer if he wasn't so damn picky. I mean, we did, had no choice but to eat him. His negativity and cynicism was a liability to our survival. Today, our concern with the experience of food is the label attached to it. Yes, that is right. Identity politics has taken over our food. The hierarchy we've created through the labeling determines its costs, right? The organics are hella expensive. And the all-naturals are pretty expensive, and Monsanto is now available to slowly murder you and your genetic code at a low, low price. So it begs the question, why is organic food so expensive?